excellent. We are now in the Are you sure? Yeah. All right, let's go. Attention everyone! The world is doomed! Zombies are taking over the world! Our world! <laughs> Go ahead and grab your pea shooters, your ray guns, the first and last kiss you'll ever receive, and a tinfoil hat because this disease is disintegrating our minds faster than a certain space shuttle did while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere back in 2003. Hello there! Say the not so incinerated astronaut Jin here, and today people, today, I have to inform you about a recent outbreak of a disease that makes me feel even more suicidal than emos are that still use Tumblr in 2024. Drama. Especially YouTube drama has been part of our lives for quite a while now, with channels like Drama Alert, Scares, and many others being the first infection zones that spread the seed of this horrible disease. For us normal human beings that don't care about people destroying their online reputation, drama just seems like a witch hunt that has as much value as an 8 hour Hassan Piker stream. But with the recent overspreading of drama, especially with drama channels blowing up faster than a package bomb sent to a New Jersey home back in 1994, I, Seiya the Jin, probably the most handsome person on this platform, decided to take action. Seiya's research team of highly functional autistic individuals have been trying to find a cure for this highly infectious disease called drama. No, mom, I don't want to go to grandpa's funeral. The new Jim SMP allegation just dropped. Fuck, we've lost subject one. He's completely retardized. Seiya, even test subject number two has completely lost the plot after watching a three hour documentary about Anakin Skywalker. It's over, Anakin. I have the moral high ground. Fuck. This disease is spreading faster than mental illnesses on Twitter. Speaking of spreading, I'm starving. I could go for a bite right now. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> oh my fucking god, Wilbur, no! As part of their ongoing investigation, they've observed that many popular drama-focused YouTube channels frequently conduct in-depth analyses and discussions about various dramatic situations. This led them to analyze how these modern drama channels research drama. You see, the subject we were dealing with was relatively complex, which is why we read about two Twitter threads, a Reddit post, and stole some information from a much bigger YouTube channel that actually put time and effort into their video, and decided that this person that everyone loved before is now bad because of all the allegations. Remember children, in modern times, a person is always guilty until proven innocent. Isn't that bananas? I swear if one of you fucks comments that my channel reminds them of some boring ass NPC drama channel, then I'll fucking hang myself. I think we all know how addictive drama has become in recent years and why it turned into something so big and popular as it is. I know that most people don't want to hear this, but in times where almost everyone has had at least one midlife crisis, it has been nice to see someone else go through shit for a change. I mean, how else are we even able to feel better about our own miserable lives if no one else is suffering more than we do? And with people spending hours upon hours obsessing over a topic, we start to wonder how long it takes for them to lose their last few remaining brain cells before shutting their mind off completely. And while they could go out, touch grass, and find a girl that they could marry against her own free will, they much rather decide to watch something that adds little to no value to their day-to-day -day life. Hell, they could even call a school anonymously and tell them that the first person who takes a lactose-infused dump will learn the true meaning behind explosive diarrhea. But no! This generation is lost. If you have a friend though that has been consuming a lot of drama recently, you may feel that all hope is lost. Well, don't you worry. I'll teach you how to save your friend from all this brain rot by showing you an example situation. Hey, Thaya. <coughs> What's up? Have you heard about the latest drama? <coughs> well, as you can see, I was doing the world a favor. What? 
I'd rather have butterflies lay eggs in my arms and have its larvae eat me from the inside than be in contact with someone that actually consumes drama and ironically. The problem with drama that always goes overlooked are unfortunately the big YouTube channels. Now it's not because of their influence and it's also definitely not because most of their viewers are literal NPCs that immediately take the opinion of their favorite YouTuber and make it their own. So I saw this 30 second clip on Twitter yesterday so let me milk it for like 10 minutes by saying that I really don't like it, it's penis butt for it and I don't want anything to do with you if you like this kind of content. I am completely shocked and against this topic because it is bad and I don't like it and I feel like people that like it should unsubscribe from my channel because I don't like it and I don't want to be in contact with someone who likes this. Oh my god, he's so right. Let me change everything about my own personal opinion what made me special and unique so that I can be exactly like my favorite YouTuber. Huh, I want to fucking kill myself. Oh wait. It actually is. Now I know this may sound absolutely wild to you, but just because your favorite YouTuber has an opinion on something, doesn't mean that you have to take his opinion and make it your own. You know, lately I've been wondering how low someone's IQ has to be to actually watch these kinds of YouTubers and enjoy it. I think we all know how addicting drama is and that it's an unhealthy obsession that people just don't seem to get enough of. Content creators especially seem to get trapped in the cycle of being pushed into a controversy very easily. Well, mostly because they're the ones initiating this drama from the get-go, or because they're stupid. But that's a topic for another day. And since YouTube itself has turned into a cesspool that allows outcasts to grow exponentially, people with no friends and many other issues in their own lives are drawn to these people because they see a reflection of their own misery and hope. Now I'm not trying to defend YouTubers that do stupid shit and destroy their whole online career in a matter of seconds. <laughs> I'm Alex, <coughs> talk to disrespect. <laughs> Literally any other YouTuber that decided to turn to dark side after reaching a certain amount of subs and power. <sighs> Sorry, my coughing has been really bad lately. But these people should know that their actions have consequences. I mean, why the fuck do you think I'm hiding my face from you? Definitely not because I was one of the pilots back in 2001. But since YouTubers come and go, their legacy and things they have done are bound to die off anyway at some point in time. Just like every single person is bound to do the same thing once their time has come. So a couple questions I wanted to ask you are, why do we even care about those insignificant people? Isn't it enough to just ignore their existence? Do their actions really matter in the grand scheme of things? Yes they do! Canceling someone isn't enough anymore! I want them dead! Okay, buddy, how about we calm down for a second? Look, whatever you're going through in life right now, this is not the answer. Come, I have an idea. How about we play a little game of hide and seek? I'll hide, and you seek professional help. I think that canceling is the only thing this generation is remotely good at. And since everything else they do is fail, I'll just start calling this generation the United Nations peacekeepers in any international crisis at this point. Now, I'm not trying to say that I'm a perfect human being. I don't want to be an idol or someone you should look up to. Well, mainly because I'm 5'10 and I have my own uh, pretty controversial opinions that will probably get me cancelled within the next five minutes. But I just don't want you to fall victim to this infection that consumes your valuable time and energy. In the end, you should always do your own research if you really care about a specific topic and not have someone else tell you what they think is good or bad. Build up your critical thinking skills. Otherwise, the government will have it easy to do whatever it pleases with you. You're special and I like you. Okay, that was a lie, but I hope you get the point. You know, there's this really beautiful saying that says that in the end, there's always a tiny ray of light that is all to reach the- OH FUCK! THE ZOMBIES ARE REACHING THROUGH THE BARRIERS! Oh fuck, but I know exactly how to beat those fuckers! So you know the bitches!